Hello everyone, we're up for another video on this channel. Today, let's talk about writing. Writing to get sponsorships. But before we do that, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, what's up? My name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. On today's episode, let's talk about on how you can write to get sponsorships on your channel. So enough of the chit chat guys, let's get on to the episode of Freedom Quick Tips. Number one tip is research. Remember that brand deal video? It's basically looking for brands that you feel are a good fit for your channel. You have to do your research on how you can contact them, who are the people who will be deciding if you are good for the brand or not, what kind of company are they, what kind of style do they have in going for their company, art style, and the likes. Um, these are the things that you will need to take into consideration because the more that you know the company, the more bullets you have when they ask you questions. And when you answer their questions properly and professionally, the more likely you will be picked for content collaboration. Number two is have a business email. Okay, so let's say you did your research and everything is fine and dandy. You are ready to do your first outreach. You will need a solid and professional looking email so that people will take you seriously. Do you think an email like I am ninja hammer 7000 at gmail.com sounds professional? In my perspective, it does not. Usually, business emails can be the initials of your name like nbzon at gmail.com or maybe your complete name, nold.dzon at gmail.com. It's up to you. People will take you and your proposals more seriously if you start off with a professional looking email. Number three is structuring your proposal. The first structure should be start off with the introduction. The introduction should be brief where you can introduce yourself, what you do, and what you know about the company. The second structure of your proposal is the body, which encompasses the whole reason why you are writing to them. Now the pleasantries are over. Let's get down to business. In the body of the email should be the reason why you are writing to them. Be very objective as much as possible while selling yourself and your channel. If you can, you should provide bullet points of your key marketing strengths and what you can provide for them. It's important that you can sell yourself properly and your channel, but of course, always deliver on the promise that you give. The last entry on your proposal is the closing line. In the closing line, you will just need to summarize what you have said on the body and you are looking forward to be working with them if ever they do decide to work with you. Always end in a positive note that doesn't sound too optimistic or too confident. End the proposal in a way they will remember you sincerely and you know what you're talking about. Be professional. Number four is sending the letter. Make sure that the email you will be sending is correctly spelled and you may need to write a few paragraphs stating why you are contacting them and say that attached on the email will be your proposal for them. Keep it brief and sweet. And that's the episode Freedom. What other tips do you have for us so that we can create more effective proposals for a company? Share this to a friend who's looking for sponsorships for their channel. Maybe you can help them out. Before you leave guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold Guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye.